welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe. Like me. I'm new. And follow along on my journey. I'm a mom of two. Let's do this, but first, let's grab a coffee. Look at my pressure. I wasn't patient. <laughs> so, Woo! back with the coffee. And let's dive in. A toddler and a pre-teenager can you call it like that it's getting interesting for anyone who already has a teenager let me know how this goes it gets easier right yeah anyway well, i uh, used to be a kindergarten teacher back in the days until i became a mother at 27 with my daughter and two and a half years ago, I had my son, which, or who, who, who is um, a toddler now. And um, they're both basically me, but opposites. <laughs> so my daughter's rather calm and my son is very active. Also, the age gap is quite significant so um it's a stretch as you moms and dads and caregivers know i think um it can be quite challenging so forgive me it's my first time and i i don't know I to lose myself up So new things stress me out like quite a bit. So this is new for me as many things have been since I've started this motherhood journey. And yeah, ever since I'm trying to navigate through it as best as I can and find Solutions to be less stressed and less over less overwhelmed. And I thought I might share that with you if you are interested in that, or not. I mean, I can still make videos and um, nobody watches them. That's also a possibility. So 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 so. So when I've been alone with my daughter, I actually started doing a second um, apprenticeship started to work in hospital and then it was time for my daughter to go to a primary school i finished my apprenticeship and put her into school and then the botanic kids actually did not apply for jobs because my first priority was to um, put her into school yeah that went actually quite well because she had things to do and new school, new subjects, 
even though the pandemic was there, um, they still taught the students online. That was really great. But then my mother fell ill. So I focused on that as well. Also not on job applications. Um, wasn't so smart, but yeah. I thought I should look into jobs, but that was really difficult. So that didn't turn out great, as well as the times to work in hospital uh, weren't the best. And I did not want to go back to being a nursery school teacher. So now I'm here and I'm being a home stay at home mom and trying to do the best I can and I'm still overwhelmed at times. It's really challenging. No. Through all of these challenges, I kind of found like slow living and the, like the joy and peace of slow living to like be more present in the moment and this is actually quite a nice journey so if you like arts and crafts and how to embrace slow living with your children or with your family um, or just for yourself then follow me and help me out if you got ideas we can still work together as a team thank you yeah yeah yeah